start my fashion. Um, last, there are probably two questions. Um, there are a couple that are very similar in theme, so I'll just ask one of them. If the parents are against two individuals to get married, can they have a secret nikah? No. A woman cannot be married without the consent and approval of her father. A woman's marriage is dependent on her father. If her father gives her the green light, even if her mother fights tooth and nail against it, it has no value. Because the mother's opinion in her daughter's marriage is not of essence. She's emotionally motivated and many reasons drive her. What counts in Islam is the opinion and the consent of the father. If the father agrees, let's go to the groom's side, the man. The man does not need anyone's approval, nor his, neither his father, nor his mother, nor anyone else. So if he's financially dependent, he's a real man, and the girl checks all the boxes, but his parents don't want her because she's not fair, she's not white, she's dark, she's fat. She's this, she's that. Her parents are not from the same level as we are. We went to their home, they don't have security with AK-47. People come to me like this. In Pakistan, <laughs> I went to some of the people's houses, they have like 10 guards with AK-47. I was scared. <laughs> what is this? It's, no, no, Sheikh, this is a, every day. They come with me in the car, scary business. So some people say, no, if they're not from the same level, then no, you cannot marry her. She doesn't have a job, she doesn't earn. Why, am I looking for a sugar mummy? I don't want her to earn, I want her to sit home and to cook and to take care of my children. I'm the man who's supposed to give every single dime needed in the house, not her. So if you are a financial independent and she checks all the boxes, go ahead and don't look behind. So just to add to that, you were um, also sharing that one story where um, the father kept on denying his daughters who are 40 years old now to get married. What happens in that situation? I told them, I told them, ditch your father and go to the uh, Islamic court and get married. Such a father from day one. See, now I make a long, a short story long. Lots of the girls come to me, she says, Sheikh, I met this boy in uni and I want to marry him. He's religious, he's hafiz, he's got a big beard and mashallah is practicing and we love one another. First of all, he's not practicing. You can't fall in love and have a relationship and being a hafiz and long beard. Come on, who are you fooling? He said, Sheikh, no, no, this is the norm in here in Canada and in America and Europe. So I don't know your level of practicing. How could a person be practicing when he has illicit haram relationship with a woman on the phone or in texting and he says I'm a hijab she's a hijabi and I'm a beardy <laughs> well, what is this this is Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde but none of my business so Sheikh my father rejected him so can we go to the Muslim judge to get married that says no Sheikh he's rejecting a good man even though it's his rights to reject but if he rejected four or five good suitors Without any legitimate reason, now you can overwrite and go to the Muslim judge. Not from the first instance or the second instance, because I'm a father. I gave birth to this, to this girl and I've taken care of her for all of my life. Now it's a mutual decision. I cannot marry her off to someone she doesn't like. No, you have to marry your cousin. Dad, I don't want like my cousin. I said, no, you have to. No, this marriage is invalid. Forced marriage is invalid. And she cannot marry without my approval. As they say, it takes two to tango. Halal Nasheed, she's your spouse. Nothing halal. So I hope this answers. No, that is. That is true.